Alicia Grayson, founder and CEO of The Art of Applying, coming to you from my living room floor, one of my favorite places to be in the world. Um, and I am here with a superstar client who has volunteered to share his story, and I'm really, really excited about it. Hi, Boris. Hi, Kenesha. Wonderful. So what I always like to start with is the great news so that people can straight up front know what happened for you. And then I'll go into my other questions. So Boris, tell us your great news. Yeah, the great news is I just got admitted uh, in Berkeley. Uh, the policy school of the Berkeley, which is Goldman Policy School, uh, uh, the other good news that I did actually share with Kinesha that I can just say now, they just gave me uh, uh, some scholarship. Uh, I just received the news yesterday. It's not a big amount of money, but it just show how strong my application was uh, so that they could actually really consider me uh, for part of the department or uh, uh, scholarship. I just got that news uh, yesterday. Of course, this is great news. <laughs> I've not waited to share it. Yeah, all. exactly. <laughs> That's perfect. Um, Please do tell us how much it was. No, it's not that big. I think it's a two thousand five hundred. Uh, that's so something. That's something. Is, is, is that per year? Uh, yes, it's actually basically. This is a one year program, so okay, it cover. Yeah, it's just one year, and uh, yeah, and they're gonna basically have three installments starting from this summer um, for the two, uh, 2005. Oh, that's great. So that could you be that's using great. Like yeah. your plane ticket or something? Exactly. Exactly. Plane ticket and uh, maybe pay some housing. Who knows? You know, um, being uh, in the Bay Area, yeah, uh, housing is so expensive. So uh, it helps somehow. So, but I mean, for me, the most important thing is not really about the amount. You know, the most important thing is really that um, my application shows to be so strong that not only I can get admitted, but then I also get some scholarship. So that's oh. great news, and all thanks to you guys. So. Oh, Boris, that's <laughs> wonderful. I love yeah. the surprise news. That's great. Yeah. So just to be clear, Boris um, was admitted to Boris, um, to Boris, uh, to Berkeley <laughs> uh, Goldman. Um, tell every, to a one-year program with a $2,500 scholarship. Um, and talk to us about um, what the program is that you applied to. So the Berkeley Goldman uh, Policy School is actually, uh, they have a very, um, I think a unique way to, to go around um, a policy program because most of the school would actually go about two years. But I think the idea is uh, to, to have a very concentrated program, a very intense one uh, that cover uh, over either 12 months or 14 months. Uh, the idea is to basically allow people who may be working to still be able to do it by, by the time they are still having a very full student uh, uh, status, you know, and that's, that's great. It started in the summer. So you have basically two schedules in summer covering from May up to August. And then the fall kicks in and basically it allows you uh, to take online classes. You can, you can take many elective classes across uh, on Berkeley. Uh, if you are more interested in business, you're more interested in engineering, whatever you're more interested in, you can actually complete all of those classes during uh, fall and spring semester. But the core of the program is actually uh, taught during summer. And I think that part is really, really uh, important to me because I'm looking at how I can trans I mean, transition from um, being studying, but also start making money and, and, and being able to make an impact that I, I, I wish I could really have on my community. And the things that prompted me to actually uh, thought about going to uh, either MPA or MBA program. Wonderful. So you didn't do the traditional two-year MPP at Berkeley. So what's the exact name of the program that you applied to? So, so I applied to the Master of Pu uh, Public Administration. So it's, a, it's an MPA program. So it's not actually the traditional uh, MPP two-year program. And I think they, they basically designed it in a way. And looking at, I mean, their class profile, what I've seen, uh, people are basically um, people already working. You know, they have they have a very bright, I mean, accomplished career if you want for many, for many of them uh, they basically want to shift, shift to some other thing that they wanted to do uh, having different kind of impact in different kind of area that they're more interested in and that program is a good fit for that and is exactly how I basically kicks in because um, 
my background is actually uh, economics. I come from a research background, but I want to have uh, uh, impact, a real impact on the healthcare, pro healthcare in, in Africa. And such program basically open up a uh, door and windows and possibility for me to be able to do it. And without sacrificing any of the other things that I could like to do as, as, as a husband, as, as a parent, you know. And so that flexibility, although, pretty intense program, but that flexibility, which is you don't have to go two years or even more from many other programs, is something that I really like about uh, on Godman's MPA program. Wonderful, great. Okay, so you mentioned a lot of things I wanna talk about. You mentioned Africa. You mentioned being a husband, being a parent. I'm really interested to hear about all that. You also mentioned having a research background. So let's make sure we come back to all of those things. Sure. But first, what I wanna talk about, because I know everyone watching this video is curious about, is your stats. So please share with us whichever stats you feel comfortable sharing. Things like age, uh, years of work experience, what kind of work experience you have, GPA, uh, test scores, um, you know, the numbers, wh whatever you're comfortable yeah. with. <laughs> well, I can, I can talk about all, I mean, any kind of number. I'm, I'm, I like crushing numbers, so I'm really comfortable talking about that. So uh, starting from my age, uh, I'm 32 right, uh, 32 right now. Uh, I'm going to turn 34 uh, next May uh, by the time I actually start that program. And I understood that uh, I was a little bit afraid that I might be a little bit older for such program, but working with you guys, uh, my consultant clearly told me when, when I was getting to HKS, um, basically I was that age as well. So you shouldn't be that worried. And then when I look at the class profile as well, I think is 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 about the average age to, to do such thing. So that's my age. The second thing is um, um, my test course. Unfortunately, and that is something that I really, I was puzzled about myself because I couldn't believe um, 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 looking at my background as, as economics, someone doing quants all the time. Um, I actually took the jury three times. And Kenisha, that's the new that I wanted to tell you. I took it yesterday again. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> because you remember uh, for the MBA and then people were kind of requesting me to take it again. I took it again. I, I did have some improvement, but just two point improvement in my math. Yeah. So my score is not that great, uh, and that's another news, another lesson that I can I can share with uh, anyone who's listened to this video. Uh, scores are great, uh, but they don't they they don't represent your whole story. You know, uh, you you more than numbers, and that's really something that uh, on the Apple applying will help you to actually showcase to to wherever you are applying. So my score for GRE, uh, the one I could actually, I mean, refer to is uh, for Quant, 158, and for Verbal, 157. So uh, not really, I mean, the stellar scores that anyone could expect if you're kind of targeting some of those schools, but it works with, uh, with MP. And I think it's going to work for some other school if they are interested. But uh, regarding tests, that's what I can say. My GPA was great. Uh, uh, I think it was around... 375 GPA, so pretty, pretty, I mean, it's decent study, GPA. What did you study? So in economics, uh, so in economics, 3.75. 3 so that's, that's what I can say about uh, uh, numbers. Uh, I have children and they were very supportive through all this process. My wife was there, I mean, um, giving me all the love and then support and encouragement through all that process. And I shared a new with them. They are so excited and, and happy for me. And uh, yes, that's what I can say about numbers. If, if that can do what no, you that's like. that's very helpful. Okay. Very helpful. Thank you, Boris. Yeah. Okay, so let's circle back around to those four things, being a parent, uh, being a husband. Um, you mentioned Africa. And then also I wanted to talk about... Uh oh, I think I've forgotten the other thing. Oh, you mentioned the work experience. Is that correct? Yeah, um, sure. What is your work experience? So I've, I've been in the international sector, uh, development sector for, for a while, uh, about five to six years, uh, working to, uh, to transform one of the, one of the, one of the, well, a two billion industry sector in Africa. And it concerns really people, uh, smallholder farm, farmers, uh, and they need, for example, cash note. When people, for example, switch cash note uh, in the U.S., uh, it's pretty expensive to, to buy. But it comes from places in Africa, being Ghana, my own country. 
Cashew, yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, cashews. So, so I've been working with the um, German Cooperation Agency, uh, connected with Kraft Food from US, and then the Bill and Melinda Gates. And the idea was basically to transform that industry in Africa, make sure that we help uh, small farm hold small farmers to uh, to develop their businesses, new businesses to start it, so that people can process that cashew instead of just selling the raw cashew, and then by doing so, selling everything, uh, including. Uh, the possibility for employment into India or Vietnam, and then they will do it and send it to the US. The project, the idea of the project was basically to have a local yes. uh, uh, industries, and that's what we have done. And, and we did it so brilliantly that we've been actually uh, having, uh, uh, I mean, an award from the OECD, which is uh, one of their um, international organization dealing with the development in, in the world. And so that was what I did for five years. And it was so inspiring uh, that I wanted to continue about econo economic empowerment um, before uh, some other things happen. And then I want to shift into the, uh, to the healthcare space. Uh, that's another story, a pretty painful one, but uh, uh, regarding my experience, that's what I can say, yeah. Okay, okay, got it. And um, where in Africa are you from? Okay, so I'm from Benin. Uh, uh, pretty tiny country in terms of geography, but we, we still 10 million people, right? That's not that small. <laughs> and uh, it's a French speaking country. So my background is actually, I, I, I went to school in Benin for my undergrad um, before I came to US. And uh, my background is Benin and my culture is really, really uh, uh, rooted in, in Benin culture and, and West African uh, way to say things. So yes, Benin is a French speaking country, small one, very stable democracy. We try to do our best about poli politics and, and some of those things. But uh, yeah, so I came from Benin. Okay, wonderful. And you're also, you said a, a parent and a husband. So um, I would just love for you to just speak some words of encouragement to other parents or spouses out there who are just wondering, can I do this? Can I make my whole family get up and move? Or, or, is your family coming with you? Yes, yes, they likely come. They, yeah, they're going to come with me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so, 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 so the first thing I want to say about that is um, you have to include your family into your plan, including your study plans. Right at the very starting, when I had the breakthrough call, uh, and I and I thank your team for that. They kind of insisted that my wife be around when we were talking, so she was involved at the very beginning, time zero when we started everything, and that helped me a lot throughout because she knew at the very beginning um, what we were kind of involved in and what is going to really take as sacrifice from both of us, but also uh, from our children, how supportive uh, I needed to, to I mean, how, how much support I needed from them so that I can be successful. And they have, they have accomplished that uh, tremendously. I, I'm so grateful for all of them because they did so great, being uh, so nice to me all the process, uh, during all the process, they, they helped me, give me encouragement. So I wanna tell all the parents, if anyone is listening to, the, to this uh, video and they think that, oh, because I already have a family or I got kids, I'm gonna be that busy, I can't really, no. Make them the, your allies, uh, make them your allies and share your story Story, share your dream with them uh, and make sure that they're on board with you and they're going to give you all the support that you really deserve throughout. I know working with uh, the other client is really, really intense. I know that. But uh, you need those allies. And if they are with you, you're going to win for sure. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, so you made your wife and your children your allies in the process. And so you, you, you're saying we insisted that uh, your wife joined you for the breakthrough call. When at first, when the person wrote to you and said, you know, we really need your wife to join you on the call. What did you think? Did you think these people are crazy? I don't need my wife on the call. What'd you think? And what made you finally acquiesce and say, okay, I will bring her? Well, they, they reasoned me through why they wanted her to be there, you know? And it made completely sense to me that uh, this is so important. Uh, it can be, it can change my life. It can change our lives, right? And I don't have to be in it alone, right? And, and, and because it's gonna require some point, some sacrifices, it's gonna require some investments, it's gonna require of time, resources, 
we need everyone to be on board and and knowing your the kind of environment you can you 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 are in who you are with who are you working with who are your support uh, is really important for the other client to design what is really needed to be for them to be helpful you know because if they are hidden information that i think that they don't know about you uh and they just go blindly assuming things it won't really help you but all all we need all we all of us we deserve is actually the success and they want us to success you guys want us to success to to really not just be numbers or be people applying but be a real story that you can tell and that require that everyone get on board and i mean when when the um the person i was having the breakthrough call um uh, required that and explain all those things to me i i just talked talk to my wife and she she agreed she was she was okay and and coming on board uh, during that call and from that day one up to today she's really supporting and she been uh, she been she seen all with me she been through all with me and and i think that's a great lesson on how you can mobilize not only friends um consultant but also your family around your idea and your project that's right beautifully said beautifully said thank you for for talking about that because it's a it's kind of confusing and frustrating to a lot of people when we say you know we need your parents you know, if they put their parents on the form as important, okay, we need your parents. Or if you put your spouse, we sure. need your spouse. And sometimes people get frustrated, but I think you explained really nicely why um, it's such a benefit to, to bring your stakeholders. Correct. Beautiful. So, Boris, what did you hope we would help you with by uh, signing up and joining the Application Accelerator? I, I have to say at the very beginning that I'm exceedingly satisfied. <laughs> that's, that's the first thing I wanted to say. Uh, um, it went beyond my expectation, uh, my experience with you guys. Um, that's the first thing I wanted to say. I have hoped when I would jump into the program that um, I would receive um, um, mental support, okay? Because one thing when you are jumping into some of those ideas that you want to apply to big name schools is you need to believe by yourself that you can do it, right? And honestly, it may seem pretty easy to say than really done, you know, because uh, we kind of live in a kind of an environment that people will tell you need to be a genius, you need to have some kind of network, you need to have this and that before you could make it. So you don't even try, you know? And with, with, with such environment, you need people to waken you up and tell you no, uh, I did it. I know people who did it and I know how you can do it and I can help you to do it. And you guys framed that pretty clearly. And that was the first inspiring thing that I wasn't expected, uh, but you did so great with that. So one thing, the second thing is uh, I know coming from, uh, to me, English is basically my fourth or fifth language. Right. Tell us and, all the languages. What are all the languages? <laughs> yeah. So, 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 being able actually to communicate what I have in my mind, I have. Oh, to... sorry, Boris. I don't mean to interrupt you. I want to hear. I want you to share everyone all the languages that you speak. Oh, okay. Well, I, I have. I'm native French, so my my I, I went to school most of my um, elementary school up to undergrad French. I have three more local languages from Benin, which is Fongbe, Gu, and Weme that I speak, and then I came to US and I learned English. Okay. So English basically is the fourth language for me. I mean, usually but people say it's the second language. language. Yeah, English. Yeah, so English is basically the fourth language. So whenever I have to say something, I have to think through some other languages, other languages. before I can actually uh, uh, put it into English. So when I start working with the consultant, uh, one thing that came up was like, they will read my sentence like, I don't know what you're saying here. And when they speak, when we have that kind of interaction, they say, oh, now I get it. I know what you want to say. Uh, but the way you put it is not really what is meant in English. It's not exactly what you want to convey to your to to the admission committee and those kind of things. And that is something that I couldn't expect it, that I needed. Mm. Okay. So you didn't uh, expect that you would need as much help as you did need on the essays. Well, specifically for the for how to actually to to get your message across. Mm. You know, that was something that I because well. 
I'm a grad student, I'm a researcher, you, I wrote papers, you know, but I mean, the way you put a story in a paper on a publication is not exactly how you want to put it uh, when you do it, you're dealing with um, application, you know, because you really blatantly talk about stories and you're talking about you, yourself, not a subject, mm -hmm. which the research is. A research you're talking about a subject, you are not in, you are not within that story, but when you're talking about an application, you are in. And talking about that is a completely different. How you approach that is completely different. And that's something that uh, I received a tremendous help uh, from your team uh, about. Um, the other thing is actually um, the test prep. Um, the test prep actually uh, helped me uh, to build up my confidence. You know, I, I was really confident that, well, GRE is is math okay i know math so i will do it you know so that's not a that's not a big deal but going through the test prep uh section i learned tricks that what uh, the test is about is not really uh your knowledge of quants is how you can actually reason through in very short time and give the answer you know you can know the answer but okay you have to put it take your pencil do things before getting it but how you can use tricks you can use uh, um, useful tips um, to to get quick result and be uh, so competitive that's something that i learned i actually learned through your test preps as well and and it was really really helpful maybe uh, if i didn't do that maybe my score would be <laughs> so <laughs> so i don't know so bad right so so those are three things that I wanted to mention, and, and I wanted to finish with this. Um, this process for real, we start one day, and as you said, and your, my contract with you said, it lasts a year. And that's really important, you know, because when you get out from the accelerator program, um, there are challenges, there are things that will pop up. And in my specific case, I went through the accelerator program before I even decided which are the real program that I will be applying to at the end, you know. So I have a very, I have a lot of time um, after the accelerator to decide where I really want to send my application at some point. And be in a platform where you can, you can ask questions and receive a very, very timely responses uh, from you and, and the other people uh, on, on, the, on the platform and alumni is really, really helpful, you know? And, and it makes you feel that, well, being out of the accelerator doesn't mean that you are done uh, with the program and, and, and you are just led to your, to your own. Um, I receive uh, support all along. And that's also really important uh, uh, that I wanted to highlight. Okay. So again, I want to finish, say, I received more than I have expected. So. Oh, I'm so happy to hear that. I'm so happy to hear that. Yeah. One thing uh, that Boris was talking about, so I'm just talking to the audience now, um, the people watching the video, is you mentioned that even after you finished the application accelerator, which of course was very intense, you still got more support um, inside of our alumni Facebook group. Um, so I would love to hear about that, what it was like getting to see other people's celebrations, um, ask questions of other applicants and not just be alone, isolated, applying by yourself, but actually be in a community of other people applying. I get from that inspiration. That's, that's the first thing. So when you see the other people, um, uh, cheering, sharing their stories, um, sometimes not always great news, you know, I mean, you can, you can, they can go through anxiety. Oh, I'm waiting for a response. I'm not getting any. So all that actually build up uh, who you are through the process. Because as I said, um, after you have, a, you have sent your application and, and waiting for, for responses, it is somehow really depressing. <laughs> and, and, and be on that platform actually help you to learn from the others what they are going through and, and, and make you kind of know that you are not alone in this stuff, you know, that is not just happened to you. Uh, some other people um, maybe are going through this, they are going through that. Uh, it might not be exactly for the same schools, but they, the experience they're having with their school actually illuminate a little bit um, the one you're having with your own uh, programs. And, and I think that's, that's quite important. Uh, uh, 
uh, on the platform, the alumni platform. Mm -hmm. And so how did it feel to see everybody's celebration and then for it to be your turn, your turn to post your celebration and to be celebrated about your success that you're having so far? <laughs> you know what happened? It's like each time that uh, on the alumni page, someone posts, oh, I just received an acceptance or I just received an interview, I would tell my wife, apparently this ad application stuff, it works. You know, working with four people, but I did not receive anything yet. <laughs> you know, so I, I, I would just go straight to her. I was like, I mean, what they say is true because I can see this guy. He just said I got invited from Stanford. I got invited from this and, and that, you know, and she would tell me, well, maybe your turn will come and, and we'll have time to celebrate as well. And that day comes as well. That day is, is, is and this is exactly what we're talking about today. You know, uh, you have your turn to celebrate as well. And because the team that is supporting you, they make you put forth your best foot, okay? And, and, and it helps you to be so competitive. So all you need is be patient and you wait. Um, the school, they have their own schedule reviewing the applications. But what they do, for sure, you're going to have some good news. That's, that's what I've seen. And it can pops out every day, you know, when you look at the web page, I mean, on the Facebook pages, news are coming. Uh, and that's reconforting. It kind of builds you up and bolstering us uh, that good results are the end of this process with the other applying. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. And so, Boris, uh, what made you reach out for help with us um what made you not decide to just apply and see what happens and do it on your own why did you reach out for professional help i'm glad i learned about a professional help <laughs> because uh, because from now i can tell everyone don't do it or don't don't just start it alone you know um i know people who have done that uh, but i i have no idea about the stats but i'm pretty sure that um out of people many or hundreds of or thousands of people who are trying things like that by their own, um, the failure rate is so high. You know, uh, you guys are picking just a handful of people because I know even through the breakthrough, you don't consider everyone. You have to see a potential uh, in the candidate before considering that candidate. So you pick people who basically can actually, um, people who are coachable, and people who can really follow instruction and, and, and they want to, put there the best version of themselves, right? So, so from that, you just look at what is coming out as statistic from your side, and they look so great. They look so great. So I'm glad that I learned about that. What make me make, I mean, take the jump and come to you guys is basically that I believe in anything that you're doing, um, you have a lot of flaws you can't be just good at anything i mean that's not possible and there's a way to put it for example in, in a research area like most of the time people who are genius and they can do they can crunch numbers they are not really good storytellers they don't know how to write it good you know some of those things there are pretty rare people who can do both and and drawing from that experience i know that you can be so great when you sit in, in front of an exam and you have whatever math that you have to do, but then how you talk about it so that you can sell yourself is a completely different idea. And people, you, have, you need that complementarity from other people. And, and I see that that's exactly what you're doing. Uh, and, and it's so beneficial to people like me. It's so beneficial to so many people who need such help to just jump ahead and, and being able to achieve the dream that they, 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 are, they, are, they are kind of after. Because if you want to do it alone, thinking that you know everything, you have the tips, you have the secret, you have how to go around each aspect of the application, you're completely wrong and you're going to fail. <laughs> no, for I mean, for sure. I mean, there is no, there is, you know, I'm 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 quant person. So what I what I say is, I believe in facts. I believe in data. I believe you know. And yeah, you're gonna fail if you don't have that kind of help. <laughs> I'm just laughing because <laughs> it's so straight out. It's just, yeah. 
<laughs> well, I mean, just let's just put it so plainly like that. You're going to fail. So you need people. You need people to help you. You need to be coach uh, to, to achieve the high level that you're expecting. You need, to, you need people to really help you. And it doesn't matter when, say, for example, um, there's a way to say that in my, in my language, and I, and I just want to try to translate that in English. Yes, yeah, say it so, first in the language and then say it first in English. Okay, <laughs> okay so in my language, you will say, Azome vi de yazome vo se. Azome ton si nyo. Nyo wa ton. Uo so na do ale ton. Which translates a student that accepts to follow the teacher's instruction, when he become president, he will come minister, he will come doctor, he will come physician, he will come whatever you imagine. The first person who is going to benefit from that is himself, not the teacher, right? So right now I'm heading to Berkeley. I'm going to get an MPA degree. Uh, is going to help my family, is going to benefit my community, is going to help me achieve uh, the impact that I can for my community. Uh, although um, the Apple Applying has helped me, the greatest benefit is coming to me. So why don't just try and, 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 and be confident and, and, I mean, try, you know, and, and seek for support. And I can say the Art of Apply is the place to be if you want to apply to schools, big name schools. Otherwise, you're just going to fail. <laughs> that, that, that line is going to just, you're going to have me laughing at that all night. Yeah. Okay, wonderful. Oh, that was great. That was awesome, Boris. So I suppose my last question I like to always ask in the videos is, what would you say to someone who's watching the video that's like, you know, I see a lot of myself in Boris. He reminds me of myself or, you know, I'm also from West Africa or I also have a research background or I'm also this or that. But they, they, they see similarities, but they think, ah, good things happen for other people, not for me. Or they think, oh, he just got lucky or something like that, or my grades are not as high as his, or something like, what kind of encouragement can you give to someone who sees themselves in you, but just doesn't know if they should take the leap to have the breakthrough call? I think take the leap, uh, always. Uh, you can't really tell what you are capable of until you try it. You can't tell. So if you, you kind of sit down, it's like, I think I cannot, I think, oh, you, like many thoughts can come to your mind and you think, I'm just not able to do it. He's lucky. So why do you think that because someone is lucky, you cannot be lucky, but you get lucky because you have tried. So the luck will come when you try. So try and have professional people who knows what they are talking about to help you. Right. So when you put your best foot out there and, and you know that you have given the best of yourself, then you're just free, you know, because you can talk, you can say why it didn't work. You can look back, sit back and say, okay, I think this didn't work because I just didn't, maybe I didn't follow this instruction. They asked me to do this. I didn't do it very well. Some of those things, you start now reflecting on what are your shortages, shortcomings? Why, why you think, why you think that you have failed? But until you try, you won't be able for sure to say why you're failing or you, why you think that you might be failing. So try, always try. And, and you learn from, I mean, whenever you try, either you win or you learn something. And that lesson that you get from the trial will help you actually to get better. So I believe after my experience with you guys that anyone, anyone can get into any school. With the right whatever, help. <laughs> what, yeah, whatever, whatever the name is, with the regular, with the normal, with the, with the support, with the, with the professional uh, coaching that you guys are giving and support, anyone can get in. And, and I want to be honest with you, I'm going to bring you so many clients. Oh, I'm so ready. I just believe that, well, I, I wish I'd known or I have been in contact with such opportunities maybe five or 10 years um, um, ago, right? So it's a great time to know that some of those possibilities actually exist, um, that you can receive support from the app of applying 
and be able to achieve some of those dreams that will change your life for good. Thank you. That was awesome, Boris. Yeah. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Yeah. I, I, I mean, I'm, I'm really thrilled. I'm, I'm excited. I, and I mean, yeah, <laughs> speechless, but yeah, very happy and, and, and glad that I've been lucky for discovering you guys. <laughs> yes, how did you find us, Boris? Well, you posted on, on Facebook, and I don't know how I actually became your friend, or I don't know how it happened, but anyway, or maybe you have a sponsored link, mm -hmm. okay? And I saw, okay, how to get into big name school or Ivy League and something like that, and I was curious, and I went and checked, okay? And then when I checked and I emailed, I actually sent you a test on Facebook. And I know you're busy. I think it took months <laughs> before you actually sorry. replied. I'm yes. So sorry. But, but, but the good thing is I've sent you that test maybe, uh, maybe in January, very early at the beginning of the year. So that anyway, uh, even though it took you time to actually reply, I was still on the right time to start my process, right? So uh, I was just curious and then I, t I tested you. You replied later and then directed me to your web, web page and I could, I could actually learn more. That's basically how it started. So I was just curious on Facebook. So Facebook, Facebook make me meet you guys. Look at that. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's exactly how it happened. Yeah. Wonderful. Thank you yeah. so much, Boris. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. And, God bless you. <laughs> God bless you too. Yeah. Thanks for watching our video. For more videos just like this, make sure you click subscribe. And if you want to work with us on your graduate school applications, visit us at theartofapplying.com or click on the link below in the description.